Thank you both. Brian from Two Fab here. Um, I think fans are going to love this show. Uh, I think I, I myself am very excited about it. But for both of you, I guess first things first, what was your you know connection to the franchise beforehand? When did you see the first one yourself? And, and did you have a favor coming into it? Zachary, go yeah. for it. <laughs> oh, I go first? Okay. I don't know. Uh, all right, I'll go. I'll find. You know what? It doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, when I was younger, my parents didn't really, you know, want me watching, you know, super, I guess, rated R movies. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I remember when I was younger, the kids who got to watch these movies were the cool ones. And so it makes it, you know, so much better now that I'm actually in it this time. And my mom can't do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, before um, being hired, I'd never seen any of the uh, any of the movies. But when I found out I got the job, I went and binged all of the movies. And yeah, now I'm a huge fan and it's super surreal being a part of it. And my favorite <laughs> Chucky movie is probably Cult of Chucky because I've always loved horror movies or just movies in general set in, in insane asylums. Mm. I don't know, there's just something about that setting that's super interesting and creepy and, and very cool. So yeah, that's, that's probably my favorite. Solid choice. <laughs> and for both of you, you know, how do you think this show might appeal to a new, possibly younger generation of fans, you know, like yourselves who are also just joining it now for the first time? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, because the show um, now is, you know, I guess with the, you know, teens, I guess, um, I guess more people can, I don't know, I guess it opens up to a wider range of an audience. And, um, you know, especially with what the show deals with, like, you know, um, Jake being bullied and how he's coming into his sexuality and people not accepting that. And um, yeah, I feel like, you know, people at home, you know, I hope that they can kind of empathize with the show, maybe feel seen or heard even. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think lots of different people will be able to connect with this show just simply because of how much depth every character has and also how many characters there are. I think you'll be able to find someone to relate to or at least something in a certain character that you can relate to like um like jake not being accepted for his sexuality or junior having so much pressure put on him from his father or or same with like lexi and her home life not being great so then she you know decides to bully and uh yeah and also people like uh bjorgvin's character um he, he lost his father and Jake's character, he lost his mother. Dealing with, you know, loss is also something that a lot of people have to deal with. And yeah, yeah and because we have eight full hours to tell a story, I think people will be very invested and will be able to relate to these characters in a very profound way. Very excited. And I guess for, for Zachary especially, because, you know, Jake is the first queer protagonist of the series. The character is yeah. inspired by Don. You know, is there an extra pressure to that you know carrying that and oh, also yeah. knowing that the person who inspired the character is also like running the show <laughs> yeah i mean uh, definitely a lot of pressure because i remember when i got uh, i think when we first started filming don said something about a mini me because if you look back from don a long time ago we actually do look a lot alike <laughs> and um yeah that freaked me out a bit you know, because that's a lot of pressure. I feel like I, I wanted to do Don Proud because, you know, he's such a good guy. He's such a great show. So I just wanted to do the best I could. And obviously that comes with a lot of pressure. But yeah. And now can each of you talk a little bit about working with this guy right here? I mean, what is it like <laughs> working opposite a doll? Are there points where you actually do convince yourself that, that he is real? And, and does it get scary sometimes? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, just because you can see the people operating it and like, you know, the puppetry, it's not make it any easier to deal with. <laughs> Dude's freaky. There's like something about him. I think it's his eyes. I don't know. It just freaks me out, man. <laughs> and um, especially because they have the original look back. 
Yeah. And but they changed the way it kind of works. And so he's, you know, he's got tons of more expressions and it's it's freaky, man. That's all I gotta say. It's really freaky. <laughs> yeah. The um the puppeteers did such an amazing job at making him feel real that you never have to try to convince yourself that he is real mm. once you know once you know the director yells action you're just in the scene with with chucky and he <laughs> feels real because sometimes when you have to, when you have to act with an inanimate object that you know you have to pretend it's something yeah. it, it it feels awkward and it's just not the same it does it didn't feel at all like we were acting with an object it felt like we were acting with a killer doll and yeah, oh, yeah. It, it made acting with it a lot easier yeah the puppeteer team was great yeah and sometimes I mean, when you look too deep in his eyes uh, you start to wonder <laughs> you do start to wonder a bit <laughs> and i mean you know he wastes no time you know getting his his kill on on this show oh yeah avoiding spoilers specifics for characters of course can you maybe tease one of your favorite kills that that we might see coming up uh well ooh, we can't uh what do we say uh <laughs> i don't think we should i don't think we're able to say anything <laughs> how much blood should we expect then <laughs> lots. Oh, lots. lots of blood <laughs> lots of blood and you know fans coming into this show are very happy to see some familiar faces coming back i know we have characters like tiffany andy kyle all, all have already been announced i gotta ask what it's like to work with jennifer tilly especially and and what can we expect from maybe her version of tiffany this time around and i'm jennifer so mad is... i i never got to work with her i never did <laughs> oh there was one scene but we weren't even working with her man uh anyway you go I actually was very fortunate because I got to work with her a lot, uh, especially in the second half. I can't say why or how, but um, <laughs> yeah, I got to work with her a lot. She is so amazing. She's the sweetest person ever, but it's funny because she's so amazing at playing an insane person, <laughs> but she's so sweet. She's so funny and she's so talented yet yeah, working with Jennifer um was it it was amazing one of my favorite actors i've ever worked with i'm happy to hear that <laughs> and i guess Teo, can you talk a little bit too about your connection to to jake in this you know uh, the character of jake and how the relationship might change once chucky gets introduced to the situation <laughs> right yeah at the start of the show um jake and junior kind of hate each other's guts um because Jake, um, he sort of, his father sees Junior as the, the son that he never had, and Jake sort of resents him for that. And Junior, um, he has, you know, though it looks, it looks perfect on the, on the surface, his home life is actually not too different from Jake's, because his mm -hmm. father, though he is more successful, is really not too different from Lucas, Logan and Lucas are very, very similar characters. They just had different circumstances. And Logan puts so much pressure on Junior to perform as a runner. And also his girlfriend, Lexi, is, you know, you know, very, you know, just an awful Billy and is pretty mean to Junior as well. So then he takes it out on Jake and bullies him for, you know, his his sexuality and all of these things and uh yeah junior is not the greatest guy at the start of the show no <laughs> well hopefully chucky showing up might force some changes and um i can't wait to see that the rest of the series i know fans can't either and thank you both for your time today <laughs> of course thank of course, you yeah thank you